the official Instagram app offers some fantastic features for engaging different types of content. However, it restricts users from downloading media, viewing stories anonymously, and often forces users with suggested posts and ads. Today, I'm excited to share with you an incredible app for Android users that puts the official app to shame. It's called My Insta, which is an enhanced and modded version of Instagram app packed with plethora of features. In this video, we will explore why this is a must-have app for all the Instagram users. As it's an unofficial app, you won't find it on Google Play Store. I've included a link to the download website in the description. When you visit, you will see two versions are available. The clone version lets you run the modded app alongside the official app whereas the unclone version will require you to remove the official app to use the modded app. I'd recommend going with the clone version so you can still access the new features on the official app while enjoying the extra capabilities of the My Insta app. Now you might be wondering if it's safe to use. The answer is yes. The developer has made the source code available making it almost open source which shows transparency. Additionally, VirusTotal confirms that everything is safe. Just make sure to download the app from the link provided below the video to avoid any risk. If you have any questions, you can reach out to the developer via Telegram, Reddit or email. Now let's dive into the amazing features of my Insta app. At first glance, you'll not notice anything different to the official app. However, the new additions are hidden. For instance, while scrolling, if you find a post you like, you can tap the three dots of the post and you'll see a new option to download the media. If the post has multiple photos or videos, you can choose to download just the one you're viewing or the entire album. This is so much better than taking a screenshot. The same applies to stories. Additionally, you can view an entire profile picture by holding it for a second and you can even zoom in and even download it by pressing the photo for 2 seconds. Unlike the official app which forces the image back to its default size, my Insta gives you full control. Let's explore further. Go to your profile, tap and hold the three dots in the top right corner to access my Insta settings. There's a lot to customize here so let's focus on the key features. First up is ghost mode. Here you can enable settings to hide your typing and scene status in direct messages. Also you can browse stories and live streams completely anonymously. These features can help you check out the content of a person or page without letting them know you viewed it. The downloads section is all about giving you control over your media. You can organize your downloads more efficiently by sorting media by username. Also, you can change the default download location, allowing you to store media files in whichever directory you prefer. The next section has got to be one of the important ones. You can disable intrusive ads and prevent cache files from piling up, occupying more of your storage. These features are really, really helpful to improve the experience. The option to disable analytics sharing is also available, offering an extra layer of privacy. This ensures that your usage data isn't shared with third parties, a feature that is increasingly important in today's digital landscape. If you're tired of endless stories and reels cluttering your feed, Distraction Free is the perfect place from where you can block posts on your home tab, hide stories from people you follow, disable reels on the reel tab and more. One of the frustrating aspects of the official Instagram app is that it compresses all kinds of media showing you weak quality of images and videos. My Insta solves this problem by allowing you to improve the photo viewing and video viewing quality. Other settings like disabling story flipping and enabling follower indicator are optional, both of which can be customized according to your preferences. Finally, under miscellaneous section, you will find a few features that improve the app's experience. As shown earlier, the ability to view zoom in and download profile pictures feature can be enabled from here. Another is the copy comments feature. It's temporarily disabled by the developer in this version but worth enabling because when it returns, it will allow you to copy any comment from any post with the help of double tap. 
a feature sorely missed in the official Instagram app. Lastly, you can adjust the story ring scale factor, which resizes the stories icon for easier viewing. A scale factor between 1.25 and 1.35 is a good range to experiment with. There's also a developer mode, but it's not recommended unless you're well versed in the technical aspects of the app. Remember, for any change to take effect, you will need to close and relaunch the app. To conclude, this is how the original Instagram should have been all along. My Insta addresses many of the frustration we have with the official app. Until Instagram incorporates the features shown here, I can't see any reason to switch back to the original version. I hope you liked this video. Give this app a try and let me know in the comments which features you like the most. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a new video.